Today, we are going to learn how to calculate the flow rate for Teledyne Lehman Labs Quick Trace products. We will easily calculate the uptake gravimetrically using DI water. Since the density of water is approximately 1 gram per milliliter, the weight and the volume of the sample is equivalent. We will use the Quick Trace M7600 mercury analyzer with a standard size tubing harness. Before introducing liquid samples into your system, double check the following items. The peristaltic pump tubing harness is installed and fully connected. The GLS is installed and fully connected. And the waistline is connected to a waste container. In the Instrument Controls tab of the Quick Trace software, set the analyzer pump speed to 100%. Now we are ready to begin. Let's start with the Stannis chloride reagent uptake. First, we will need to fill a small sample tube or beaker with approximately 50 milliliters of DI water. Next, tear the balance, then place the container on the balance, allow it to stabilize, and record the starting weight of the container. This is the before weight. Our before weight is 55.18 grams. Now, insert the Stannis chloride reagent capillary into the container. Start a one minute timer as soon as the capillary begins drawing up the DI water. After one minute, remove the capillary from the container. Tear the balance, then place the container on the balance, allow it to stabilize, and record the weight of the container. This is the after weight. In our case, it's 49.42 grams. To determine the uptake volume, subtract the after weight from the before weight. In our case, it was 55.8 grams minus 49.42 grams. The Stannis chloride reagent flow rate is 5.76 milliliters per minute, right on target. Let's repeat this procedure for the sample probe to determine the sample and rinse flow rate. This can be done manually, but today we will demonstrate with the auto sampler. Weigh the container with DI water to obtain a before weight, then place it into the auto sampler. In the instrument controls tab of the quick tray software, select the auto sampler tab. Click on the ellipses button located in the Move Sample Probe section. This will open a diagram of the auto sampler positions. Select the position of your container, then select OK. Next, click Move To. When you are ready to start your one minute timer, click Down. After one minute, click up in the software. Tear the balance. Then place the container on the balance, allow it to stabilize, and record the weight of the container. This is the after weight. To determine the volume uptake, subtract the after weight from the before weight. This table shows the expected flow rates at 100% analyzer pump speed for each tubing type we offer. Visit our website or contact our customer support team to place an order.